Imagine a feature where you can change someone's traits at a click of a button. Just like customising a character at the start of a video game, you can change someone's height, edit someone's eye colour, and add or remove traits at will. Now what if I told you that this future could soon be a reality, possibly during your lifetime? Although genetic modification has been around for as long as recorded history, genetic engineering, the direct manipulation of genes, only came to be during the 1970s when scientists began combining sections of DNA from different species. Development in this new technology came rapidly, but as successful as these early ventures into genetic engineering were, there were some obstacles to overcome. The process was expensive, took a long time and required highly specialised equipment. Then came CRISPR. Almost overnight, genetic engineering was revolutionised. Exploiting a quirk in the immune systems of bacteria, we can now edit the genes of other organisms to the accuracy of a single phosphate base at a fraction of the cost of all the genetic engineering techniques. And all this could be done in a matter of days. The potential for CRISPR is immense. With genetic modification now coming at such a low cost, we could now edit our own traits and characteristics with ease. This was first achieved in November 2018, when He Jiankui, a Chinese scientist, created the first genetically edited babies, using CRISPR to give the babies resistance to the HIV virus. Despite all the controversy on ethical grounds and his eventual arrest and imprisonment, He was listed as one of Time's 100 most influential people of 2019, and for good reason. He proved to the world that by editing the human genome, we could potentially wipe out some of the most life-threatening diseases in existence. Currently, a genetic defect in a fetus could result in termination of pregnancy. In the UK alone, over 2,700 abortions happen a year due to these defects. A tragic number. But by editing the human genome to remove such defects, this number could drop to zero. In July 2019, CRISPR was used to successfully treat a patient with sickle cell anemia a dangerous genetic disorder which could potentially halve a patient's life expectancy. Perhaps soon, we may live in an age where genetic defects, conditions such as haemophilia and Down syndrome, could be cured with an affordable, one-time visit to the clinic in the future, and painful, life-threatening diseases could be treated with one injection of a DNA encoding. Of course, with every new great discovery, there comes a degree of scepticism. There's evidence that CRISPR could potentially be lethal to human life if the operation is executed incorrectly by wiping out and damaging large sections of human DNA. Another worry about such a powerful genetic engineering tool would be that not everyone will use this technology to do good. Some fear a dystopian future, where governments use CRISPR to make the population docile and obedient, or where rich, powerful individuals attempt to make themselves superhuman. These worries are very valid. CRISPR is not a perfect technology, and if misused, could have dramatic repercussions, but then again, if we simply ban CRISPR from being used on the human genome, the technology would likely move underground, falling into the hands of crime syndicates or the technology being sold at black markets for high prices. Therefore, perhaps the best solution would be to go with the flow. Human genetic engineering should be allowed, but regulated by laws, so that the technology would continue to benefit mankind, and that further research into this technology is carefully guided and done. CRISPR's potential to save millions of lives in the future cannot be overlooked. While the technology might not be mature yet, we are looking at a revolutionary step forward for mankind. <laughs>